So what is fallback host in a five big IP LTM? So let's first understand packet flow in a five big IP LTM, and then I will talk about fallback host option in F5. So client requests first hits the virtual server, means like the virtual IP address of virtual server. And if there is a default pool associated with the virtual server, then client request is directed to the default pool. And pool, as we all know, as we all understand, means logical grouping of servers, uh, members. So if there are three servers in this pool, right? And, um, uh, and let us assume like there is no priority group activation feature like enabled per pool basis because what happens in priority group activation, even if there are three pool members and if we enable priority group activation and the threshold value means minimum active members limit is set to two. So two members are selected based on their configured priority value, right? But if priority group activation option is not enabled and by default, yes, disable PGA option is disabled. So what will happen now based on like the outcome of load balancing decision because load balancing decision or load balancing method is also configured per pool basis. So one of the server is like chosen from the pool. Let us assume server one and then client request is directed to server one, right? So that's the way like how a packet is processed by F5 big IP LTM. Now, if all three servers are down, unreachable, not available, then what will happen? Client would definitely receive an error message, right? So that's where like fallback host comes into picture. If we want that uh, uh, instead of like giving an error message, Client requests should get directed or forwarded rather, I would say, to any external web server. Let's say I have one of the web server hosted in cloud, right? Maybe AWS or Microsoft or anywhere web server. And my objective is to redirect client requests to external web server hosted in the cloud or maybe in different location. Okay, so will that be possible? Yes. Over this fallback host option, right? This fallback host option is configured in HTTP profile. So there has to be layer seven profile associated with the virtual server, means HTTP profile. I mean, HTTP profile properties, we find option fallback host. And if that fallback host option is configured, means if I just, uh, configure there like uh, HTTPS colon nettechcloud.com or any website name here, right? So if like there is no active member in the pool, there is no other I rule configured or policy, then client requests will get redirected to external website, external web server can be hosted in cloud or in different data center. Right, that's what fallback host is, and how does it happen? So basically, big IP system redirects HTTP requests with the HTTP reply status code 302. So, what is HTTP status code 302? Let's understand that. Let me clear my screen. Okay, so basically uh, you must be aware with different HTTP response codes, response codes, like this 100 series, like 100 to 199, like just informational, 200. Is like success for example 200 means okay or successful response right successful response and what about this 
300 series. So here, like 301 means like moved permanently, but 302 means found. So this response code means 302 means that URI uniform resource identifier of requested resource has been changed temporarily right means http request here and redirected with the response code 302 that is uh, like uri has been changed temporarily with like this nettechcloud.com so that client should now contact nettechcloud.com redirected to nettechcloud.com but when this response code 302 will be sent, if there is no active member, there is no available member in the pool, there is no I rule, nothing, not at all, right? And I'm going to particularly show you like how we can verify that, how we can see like this 302 code. And uh, what about other like important codes here, like the 400, like four, 100 to 499 like client side error right generally we never expect to see any like error code from this range because it's bad like 400 for example is something bad request what about 401 401 is unauthorized or unauthenticated means authorization is required but not uh, uh, like authenticated so it's unauthorized 403, you must have seen like forbidden or no access right. Miss no like read permission to the resource. And 404, very common, not found. So 400 series like HTTP response codes, like client side errors, and 500, again, server errors. Server errors. So in this fallback host, basically here, fallback host 302, like code HTTP response code could be there, like means like telling the client that URI of the requested resource have been changed temporarily. Okay, and I'm going to show you like how we can uh, demonstrate this and where to configure from where like we can configure this fallback host. Okay, let me uh, quickly jump to my F5 big RPLTM GUI, like graphical user interface mode. All right, so if like here, there is one virtual server, virtual server IP is 201, status is green, means at least there is one active member, available member in this, like the, the pool, like that is associated with the virtual server. So if I access this IP 172.16.1.201 virtual IP address, if I just, and see here, like I'm expecting a page here, and yes, so it's working properly, right? What if all members of a pool are down, and let me disable all members of this pool, pool one. So there are three members already, two are like already disabled or offline, so I'm going to Disable server three also, right? All three servers unavailable, and yes, reflected status of virtual server. Okay, so now here, I don't want to see an error message now, right? Because if I go here and uh, try to access server virtual server. With the IP virtual IP address 201 172.16.1.201. So this site cannot be reached. Now here I want to use fallback host, right? 
services and select HTTP profile, right? And even default profiles can be modified. Monitors, yes, you cannot modify read only, but profiles, yes. But always is strongly recommended that you should create a clone, a replica, or child profile, and then just whatever edit uh, editing you want to do, do that in the replica or maybe the copy of it not in the default uh, like profile but it's the lab environment so i'm going to use this uh, look at this option fall by host option here so i'm going to specify here the url https colon net cloud.com right update here and uh, I'm also opening here Wireshark. Uh, let me put a filter here with virtual server. Apply this filter. Capture, start, applied filter, right? Minimize this. And it's already updated. I'm back to this browser. And again, I'm going to access 172.16.1.201 now. Right, and see you. NetTechCloud.com automatically change here. Right, so I tried to access 172.16.1.201, but redirected to NetTechCloud.com with the fallback host option. So can we do verification from? Wireshark also let me stop the capture and the first here is TCP SYN, SYNAC I can see here and then HTTP request here get request right HTTP get request so double click this request and the original request here like for the host Host is here 172.16.1.201, right? So, original request was like for this IP 172.16.1.201, like virtual server IP, no pool member available. And then, uh, what about the response? So, we can find the response in frame number 102. So, I want to see this 102. So, go to 102, this one. 102 right double click and here and uh, look at this 302 font slash r slash n carries return and location is what http network cloud.com and here like the code is 302 and what's the name 302 means found and 302 found means like this response code like 302 means what means that uri uniform resource identif identifier of requested resource has been changed temporarily change temporarily and that is why the next request went to this nettechcloud.com right understood